The Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider is an American strategic bomber under development for the United States Air Force USAF, by Northrop Grumman. As part of the Long Range Strike Bomber LRSB, program, it is to be a long-range, stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the USAF, able to deliver conventional and thermonuclear weapons. The Air Force intends the B-21 to replace the Rockwell B-1 Lancer and Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit by 2040 and possibly the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress after that. The Air Force began planning for the B-21 in 2011 and awarded the major development contract in 2015. The B-21 made its first flight on November 10, 2023. It is expected to enter service by 2027. Many aspects of the B-21 program are highly classified, the program is designated as a special access program. The Congressional Research Service noted in 2021 that the B-21's technical details and specifications, such as speed, enabling systems, size, required stealth, structure, number and type of engines, projected weapons, and onboard sensors remain classified although some information about various other aspects of the program have been made public since 2015. The first photos of the aircraft were released on December 2, 2022, taken during a rollout ceremony at Northrop Grumman's production facilities in Palmdale, California. The classified long-range strike bomber LRSB, program began in 2011, and the Air Force issued a request for proposal to develop a LRSB aircraft in July 2014. A development contract was awarded to Northrop Grumman in October 2015. Boeing and Lockheed Martin, who submitted losing bids for the project, filed bid protests. In October 2016, the Government Accountability Office GAO, rejected the challenges and sustained the USAF's decision to award the LRSB contract to Northrop Grumman. The GAO report revealed that cost was the deciding factor in selecting Northrop Grumman over the Boeing-Lockheed Martin team. Management and acquisition of the B-21 program is being overseen by the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office, rather than through the traditional military procurement process. However, the B-21 program remains subject to the Nunn-McCurdy reporting requirements to Congress. A 2015 media report said the Air Force wanted the bomber to also function as an intelligence collection platform, battle manager, and interceptor aircraft. In 2016, then the Secretary of the Air Force Deborah Lee James said that the B-21 would be a fifth-generation global precision attack platform with network sensor shoot capability. Northrop Grumman describes the B-21 as the world's first sixth-generation aircraft. At the 2016 Air Warfare Symposium, Air Force officials announced that the LRSB would be formally designated B-21 because the aircraft would be the 21st century's first bomber. In September 2016, Air Force officials announced that the B-21 would be named Raider in honor of the Doolittle Raiders. Retired Lt. Col. Richard E. Cole, then the last living member of the Doolittle Raiders, was present at the naming ceremony at the Air Force Association Conference. In March 2016, the USAF announced seven Tier 1 suppliers for the program, Pratt & Whitney, Bay Systems, Spirit Aerosystems, Orbital ATK, Rockwell Collins, GKN Aerospace, and Janiki Industries. In 2016, the F-35 program manager Chris Bogdan said the B-21's engines would be similar enough to the F-35's Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine to reduce its cost. The program completed its critical design review in December 2018. In January 2020, Air Force officials released new B-21 renderings, showing the distinctive flush and blended inlets and the two-wheel main landing gear design. The drawing appeared to show a smaller, lighter aircraft than the B-2. In September 2022, the USAF announced that the B-21 was to be unveiled in early December 2022 at Northrop Grumman's production facilities in Palmdale, California. The ceremony took place on December 2, 2022. At the unveiling, Northrop CEO Kathy Warden said that the B-21 is designed with modular, open systems architecture to allow easy upgrades, a, and, potentially, the ability to export components to foreign buyers. Warden said that the B-21's internal operations were extremely advanced compared to the B-2 and that the B-21 was slightly smaller than the B-2, with a longer range. Like 
In February 2016, the head of the Air Force Global Strike Command said he expected the service would place an initial order for 100 B-21s and build up to a full fleet of 175 to 200. In 2017, two USAF studies suggested that Air Force could increase its initial purchase from 80 to 100 to 145 aircraft. Assembly of the B-21 takes place at the United States Air Force Plant 42 near Palmdale, California, at the same facility Northrop Grumman used during the 1980s and 1990s to build B-2 bombers. In January 2017, Northrop Grumman was awarded a $35.8 million contract modification for a large coatings facility at Plant 42, to be completed by the end of 2019. The contract announcement did not specifically mention B-21, but the facility was likely meant for B-21 stealth coating. By the summer of 2019, it was reported that construction of the first aircraft was underway, 38, in early 2021, several media outlets reported that as completion of the first B-21 approached, construction on the second unit had begun. At a congressional hearing in June 2021, Darlene Costello, the acting assistant secretary of the Air Force Acquisition, Technology and Logistics, confirmed that the first two B-21s were under construction at Plant 42. By February 2022, six B-21s were under construction. The first B-21 was moved to a calibration facility the following month. About 8,000 Northrop Grumman employees had worked on the program with more than 400 suppliers from at least 40 states. In September 2023, program officials said fueling and engine tests were proceeding ahead of the anticipated first flight by year's end. The first test flight of the B-21 took place on November 10, 2023 at the Air Force's Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. The B-21 is slated to, by 2040, replace the U.S. Air Force's 45 B-1 strategic bombers, which date from the 1980s, and 20 B-2 strategic bombers, which date from the 1990s. The B-21 may also eventually replace the B-52, which is slated to remain in service for many decades. The test program is managed by the Air Force Test Center and 412th Test Wing's B-21 Combined Test Force, including Northrop Grumman personnel. The first B-21 prototype took its maiden flight on November 10, 2023. Hawk, Hawk. General Characteristics Capacity, 20,000 pounds, 9,100 kilograms, weapon load. Length, 54 feet, 16 meters. Wingspan, 132 feet, 40 meters. Empty weight, 70,000 pounds, 31,751 kilograms. Max takeoff weight, 180,000 pounds, 81,647 kilograms. Power plant, 2 times Pratt & Whitney PW9000 non-afterburning turbofans, 27,000 lbf, 120 knots, thrust each. Performance. Maximum speed, Mach 0.8 plus. <laughs>